so it's just about here. One day out, I'm actually, I think it's like 10.30, 11 a.m., so I'm actually just about 24 hours out from Wayne's. Um, and I was, what was it, like three, three and a half pounds under something like that, so I'm basically in the clear at that at, at, uh, at this point. I got, all I got going on today, eat, rest. Coach told me go for like a 20 minute walk, just to, you know, get all the, uh, get some blood flow, get some blood flowing, get all the kinks out of my system, get uh, that last bit of fatigue out, you know? Um, might turn into a 20 minute skate, because I haven't touched my skateboard in a while. But yeah, today, eating, I gotta pack my stuff, pack my gym bag obviously, but me and my boys that are competing, we, uh, it's in a different state, so we, um, we're heading over tonight, staying the night, competing tomorrow. I went to Grammy's house last night, I'll tell ya. She, she always hooks me up real good with an unholy amount of carbs. Homemade cinnamon buns, homemade biscuits, the works, you know. So I'm gonna be eating good today. I'll probably just eat my normal breakfast, but after that, I'm just gonna indulge like crazy. Carb way up for tomorrow. Well, this is it, ladies and gents. Got my clothes, my gym stuff, everything packed. I got, I got what's left of Grammy's uh, cinnamon, homemade cinnamon rolls, biscuits. Gonna be snacking on those on the way up. Got some water, gonna grab more food when we get up there. Um, here we go. Just said bye to my dad. Now I gotta go, go get gas. Isn't that cool? Isn't that so cool? Just about my dad, gonna go get some gas, head up to my friend's house, and then he's driving us up to Mass. I'll see you there, I'll see you at Jason's house. What is up, ladies and gents? We're in Mass, we're on the way there. Picked up some McDingle Dangle. Gotta fuel up, this is prime uh, meat day nutrition right here. This is Jace. I go to school with this dude. Haven't seen him in like a month and a half or something, so this is pretty cool. Uh, that's Mike back there, Calvin. and this is Kelvin. All right, real quick, guys. Biggest goal for this meet? Go. Uh, biggest goal is going to be squatting 315 uh, pounds, not kilos. Squatting 355. I'm aiming for a nice 300 paused bench. Point. For real? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. He's nutty. I didn't know he was that strong. Holy shit. Um, um, my biggest total, like or my biggest goal is going nine for nine and totaling 500 kg, which is like, which is 1,103 pounds, I believe. Yeah. So we're going to eat up real quick. I got two McChickens because McChickens go down like water. We're all pretty safely underweight. I'm definitely the most over one here but we got time to spare. I got room to spare. So we're gonna eat up real quick, get back on the road. Oh, can I try your salts on camera? They're in the back, they're in the back of the car. Oh no, you have them with you? You have to add some water if you need them. Oh no, you don't need So these are Ward Bottled Insanity XL smelling salts. I haven't used salts in a fat minute. They're kind of old. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> they hit me at the end there. Oh, I gotta get one more. Oh! I love salts, man. Salts are great. It's like Coke without the Coke. Not that I know what Coke is like, I don't. But I can infer. Those are gonna be great tomorrow. I'm probably only gonna use them for my third attempt dead, but. Alright, we'll see you guys either. When we get to wherever we're going, I don't know. I'll let you know when we get there. 
here now. I guess good. Oh, yeah, you're good. Getting that cool piece, the, whole, the whole roof is fucking black. Exactly, it bounces right off. You can't even see. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What's up, ladies and gents? We're here at my boy Kale's house. Thank you to Kale for letting us stay here. We're uh, just outside of Boston. Yeah, Or Austin. debatably in Boston. We'll Boston. say it's we're, in Boston. It's, it's in Boston. We're about 20 minutes away from where we're competing tomorrow. I think we were gonna go and get food or something, but I think we're, we're just gonna rest up. I'm gonna finish those biscuits, those cinnamon buns. Agreed. Hey. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace. Again, thank you to Kale for letting us stay. What's up ladies and gents? Good morning. I'm back up on the roof. Today's the day. Today's me day. I weighed in like 3.7 pounds under what I gotta be. So I'm gonna have one more cinnamon bun, one more biscuit. And uh, we're gonna head out pretty soon. It's like a 23, 24 minute drive from where we're at right now. So time to, time to get the energy up. Cause I'm still pretty sore. I got about three-ish hours of sleep, which I think is a personal best for a before meat day. I have a tradition, an unintentional tradition of not sleeping before meat day. So um, we'll see how that affects me this time. This is really a great spot. There's like bars down there, frat houses down there, church right in the middle, all the necessities, you know? All right, I'll see you guys at the meet. We got to check-ins. Everything went smoothly. Everything went great. All right, um, this dude never bought a membership. <laughs> What, uh, which one? Just checked in, waiting for weigh-ins now. Feeling good, feeling really good. I'm starting to, soreness is starting to be alleviated, you know, as I'm, I'm getting in the zone, kind of. People say the massage gun is BS, says it's a scam, you know, it doesn't do anything. Feels good, makes me less sore, you know, it's something. So we weighed in, we're all good, I was like, um, I was like two kilos under. So we're chilling now, I can eat, hydrate, and we start warming up in like an hour or something. Start lifting an hour and a half. I don't know how much more I'm gonna be able to record, so it might just be like my attempts after this. So yeah, I actually, after that, I didn't really record much on my own. I had my sister, I, I recorded a little bit more like before we were warming up, just getting ready and stuff. Um, but I had my sister record all my attempts. So what you're gonna see um, pretty soon is you're gonna see all my attempts and then after each one I'm gonna tell you what was going through my head before during and after each one how I felt about how they all went and then I talk a little bit more after so yeah gotta be honest I don't feel great we're not warming up yet we still got a bit of time so maybe I'll start feeling better but I mean I'm tired I'm sore but hey at this point it's meat day even if you're tired even if you're sore and you're fatigued you gotta give it your best. You gotta work with whatever hand you're dealt and still try and put out the best total you can. So, hey, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll have a, a real good day. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm planning on, you know? But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens when more nuts start going. Got rules briefing done. Um, flight A is warming up on flight B right now. I'll tell you, after that rules briefing, after they said good luck, it hit me, man. You ready? I'm ready. ready? I'm ready. You guys yeah. ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm beyond ready. All my soreness just went away. I am amped as f right now. Next yeah, thing you're gonna see, you're gonna see me on that platform squatting something. I don't even know. My first attempt's like 290. You're gonna see me out there busting my ass. Take your time here. Let's get on the board. Come on, Mikey. You got this, Mikey. First attempt squat that moved like butter. There was a little uh, a little hiccup with my knees weren't fully locked out. I guess I I didn't really even realize that, but it, it moved so well, felt perfectly fine. The only thing I was really worried about was depth, but I mean that was like ass to grass. So 
yeah, if I could just make each rep feel like that, you know, go that low, I'd be perfectly in the clear. I was 130 kg, second attempt up to 140. <laughs> Come on, Mike, walk it in here. You got it. Big squat, Mike. Big squat. All right, Mikey. Up, up. Yeah. Woo! Well done. Well done. So 140 kg, honestly, a little tougher than expected. It didn't move super fast. Still pretty clean. Good depth, like I said, that was really all I was worried about because obviously it moved well. I made sure on my setup for that one to lock my knees like much faster, get set up really quick so I can get the down command quicker, you know, not waste any time out there. Um, but yeah, it still felt pretty good. So I moved up to my planned third attempt of 150 kg. You could see after that last attempt that I like, I kind of shook my head like, because um, I mean, that wasn't easy. You know, it moved a little slower than I expected it to, but uh I mean, I was ready. I moved up to 150. All right, Mikey. Lock it in. Quarter 24. Bars ready on one. Here we go. Yup. So you could see at the end there, I was pretty excited. I was really, really, really happy with how squats went. Um, I couldn't have asked for it to go better, you know? At the end there, I looked up at the board because the only thing I was worried about was depth. And I did get one red light on that. I think it's because my left foot slid out a little bit on the way up, but it moved so well. I think that moves better than 140, honestly. Yeah, I was super, super happy with how, uh, how squats went. So now I was just thinking about um, carrying that momentum on the bench. <laughs> All right, Mikey. All right. So going into bench, what was going through my head was, I just gotta push through my legs because I have a bad habit sometimes of just not using leg drive and my arch collapses and just everything goes terribly. So I, I knew that, I mean, my energy felt good. I didn't really feel that sore, that tired in my in my chest or my tries. So I knew that if I could just really focus on my leg drive, everything would go well and I could hit what I had to. And that first attempt moved pretty well. That was, that was I believe 92.5 kilos, which is like 204, something like that, 204 pounds. So yeah, I felt good. I went into my planned second attempt of 102.5. Uh, all right, another bar for Steven Lizucci, Junior, 303 pounds on the bar. Are you got this? Sophia. Uh -oh. Up, so, up, up, up. Lizucci. Lizucci's got 301. So 102.5, didn't move super fast. Um, it definitely felt slower than it looked. In the video, it looked pretty good, but um, out there, it felt pretty bad. <laughs> um, I mean, I've definitely ground out slower reps, and I was saying this before my third attempt, um, which was 110. Yeah, 110 kilos. I'm not afraid to grind out, grind out a rep, you know, especially on bench, really on anything, but I mean, one of my last training days, I had like an 11 or 12 second rep on bench. So I'm by no means scared of having a really long grindy third attempt. So moved up to what I planned on hitting. Goal I said a while ago, 110 kilos or about 243 pounds. Steve Nolan, 160 kilos. Here we go. Here we go. Bars ready. Hey, you win some, you lose some, you know? <laughs> so I was okay with how bench went. I mean, I knew that 110 kilos was gonna be a hell of a grind if I did get it. And I got it right to my sticking point, but it just wasn't there. I was pretty satisfied with, with a 102.5. I mean, it's a really big competition PR, pretty close to a training PR. It's only like four pounds off or like two kilos. 
Um, so yeah, I was fine with how that went. Obviously, I would have liked to get it, but um, I was okay with how it went. I, I was pretty satisfied. So now I was just thinking about what's up next. So I went back to the warm-up room. I sat around for a little while. I had a, quite a bit of time because I was going from like really early in my flight on bench to second to last um, in my flight on dead. So I had, I had quite a bit of time to sit around, you know, cool down a little bit so I'm not wasting too much energy, you know, really keep my focus and get ready for warm-ups. And warm-ups felt great. Everything was flying. So I felt super confident going into my opener, which was 225 kg, I believe, which was 496 pounds. So first attempt went super well. I mean, it was easy. It wasn't even 500 pounds, come on. But uh, I didn't really have a planned second attempt. It was just around 250. And I really didn't have a planned third because um, the most I had hit in training was 250, but I knew I could smoke that, especially on meet day, you know, with energy and everything. So I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that I told, um, I told them to put 245 kilos as my next attempt, which was 540 pounds. I figured I would go from there. That's, you know, it's like 45 pounds up for my first. And from there, I don't think I wouldn't go more than 45 pounds up for my second. So I figured that was a, that was a good way to gauge where I was going to be and where I was going to end up. But they loaded 250 on the bar and it moved really well. And I actually didn't realize it was 250 until after. So I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that after my second attempt. You got it, Mikey. No. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. Woo! Nice. She would have wanted to get left. So I don't know why I got that one red light from the left judge. She was giving reds like all over the place. I don't really know why. Um, just a stickler, I guess. But I, I really, like I said, I mean, that looked clean, I think, because it kind of paused close to the top. Maybe she had thought it moved down a little bit, but it moved pretty well. And like I said, I was it was supposed to be 245. So I gave them my third of 257.5, which is... All right, I just did the calculation. So I told them my set, or my third attempt, I wanted it to be 257.5. That would be five, about 568. The most I had tried to pull in training is 565 and I knew I could get it. I knew I could get 565. So I figured 568, it'll be, you know, it'll probably be like right, um, right on the border of what I'm capable of. That'll be good based on how two, um, 245 moved. But then, in like the back room where we were before we went out and did our attempts on the screen it said that my third or my second attempt was 250 i'm like hmm? so i in my head i'm like i guess since that moved so well and i wrote i went back and looked at the video it was 250 so whatever i don't know if i made a mistake or if they did but it, it's whatever because it did move pretty well i said okay well if that was like five kilos higher than i thought it was going to be i'll go like another two and a half or five kilos up from what i planned on my third being so I went out there, I was only like two or three people out from doing my third attempt, but I was like, is it too late? And they were like, no, tell, um, just tell us real quick. I ended up going with 260, which was about 573 pounds. Would be a huge PR, um, just over 20 pounds, 10 kilos. Um, yeah, I knew that it was gonna be right there, um, but I didn't plan on missing my third attempt deadlift today, so. Loaded on 260. Well, actually they originally loaded on 257.5 and then I went out there, I was like, that's not right. So, or they said that's not right or something. So yeah, I went out there and then I stepped back for a second cause they had to reload it. And then I went for it, went for 260. And by the way, since this was Massachusetts, Massachusetts state championships and I am not from Massachusetts, they basically, I'm pretty sure they grouped all of the guest lifters in the same flight. My third attempt was actually the highest in my flight. 
me and one other guy who was a lot bigger than me, um, we were tied, same exact first and second attempt, but he was going for 257.5 for his third, I was going for 260. So if I could get this, that would mean I would have the highest out of state deadlift at this entire meet. So we got the Fortnite Vic Roy. You know we had to do it to him. Of course. Is everyone satisfied with how they did? Yeah. Uh, I'd, because say, I'd say I'm I'm about ninety percent satisfied. I feel like I could have done a bit better. That's pretty damn good for a first um, meet. For my it's, first meet, I these, think I think I did pretty. This good. is my third, all their first. Um, I had a few different goals I wanted to hit, but big one was um, five hundred kilogram total, and I got that. I think I got five hundred two kg deads. There was some weird mishap with, they misloaded my second attempt, so. <laughs> my third, and man, it got f***ing close. There had uh. So I kind of just ended up rambling there for a bit because I was all excited and whatever. I was just saying, I, I've had a few really close deadlifts where, I mean, I get it right, right, super close to lockout. And once it's at that point, I can just hold it there forever. You know, it wasn't going down anytime soon, but it, it just wasn't going up either. So I didn't actually really pass out there, but in the back room and during warm-ups and whatever, I was super, super lightheaded. Like even just standing up out of a chair, I was I would get, you know, a little dizzy. So after I put that uh, last pull down, I was like, okay, if I don't just put myself on the ground voluntarily and under a little bit of control right now, I'm probably gonna pass out and then fall out of my own control. So yeah, I just, you know, put my hands back and sat down. And then my, my sister cut off the video, but I just sat there for a second, like. <sighs> it's whatever, I gave it my all, I left it out there. I got a 500 kilogram total. This man is out, beast. shout out to him for helping right. us all out. We appreciate that, he's a good Force. man. Force. I love helping people in powerlifting as much as I love powerlifting myself, you know? Yeah. I met some awesome people today. I always do it every single meet. You meet great people. You have a great time. The energy is awesome. Oh, yeah. We're off to Chipotle now. Of Got a grub up. I'm trying to bulk way the up by the end of the year. So is this dude trying to get, you're trying to gain like 20 pounds. I'm trying to also gain like 20 pounds, a little bit more maybe. Yeah, I had a great time. You guys have a good time? Oh yeah, this is definitely a must do again. So, thank you everybody for watching. <laughs> Man, that was awesome. That was such a great time. That was probably the best me I've ever been to. I mean, the people there, the energy was so great. Um, it went about exactly as I expected it to. I knew I could smoke 330 and I did. I could have done that for like a double or maybe a triple if I really wanted to. 242 bench or 243, whatever it came out to. I knew that was going to be right there, that it was going to be tough. And I got it right to my sticking point, but it just wasn't there. I was pretty happy with how it moves. Um, it's whatever, you know, I'll, I'll get that number soon enough. Deadlift. My goal was pull 550, 551, and then just find my limit. And that's exactly what I did. I think if I, so my third pull was 260 kg. If I had done 257.5, I would have had it because 260 was so, so close. This is the happiest I've ever been with a meet because it went, I set PRs. Um, I, I mean, I had a great time. I enjoyed myself. I helped my friends through their first meet and they did great. I'm so proud of them. It was, it was such a good time. I guess I could have asked for a better meet, but for now, I'm satisfied with this one. And now it's just on to... Looking to what's coming in the future, looking to bigger and better things, looking to maybe qualify for some higher level meets, put up bigger totals, pull something stupid before I turn 20. Yeah, it was, it was such a great time. It really was. Thank you everyone for watching. Please like, subscribe, 
comment on the video, share the video. I appreciate it all so much. I appreciate you all watching. There's not many of you right now. Hopefully there will be soon enough, you know. Have a good one, guys and gals. See ya.